Boogie. Well, it's involved 200 musicians, 40 locations, and tonight we bring you the final part of our symphony for Yorkshire. And Harry is at one of the locations that we use. It's the Old Horns Inn at High Bradfield in Sheffield. As they say, take it away, Harry. Thanks very much, Anikris. I know you share my view about this. It's a fantastic landscape of Yorkshire. This is High Bradfield, a beautiful village on the outskirts of Sheffield. And this is Stannington Brass Band. Let's all take a great breath of Yorkshire air. Well, you'll be seeing and hearing them a little later. They could actually walk home, couldn't you? Yep. You won't be there, will you? No. Uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, let me just talk to you about the inspiration, about the whole idea of the symphony, because it, it started, didn't it, back in March, when throughout BBC Yorkshire and our local radio stations and on the Look North, uh, we tried to uh, launch a, a competition to find a poem that would go with the symphony. Well, it was actually won by a remarkable... She's 98 years of age. She's called Doreen Brigham. She lives in Harrogate. And we asked her about her inspiration behind those incredible words. Sing the song of Yorkshire, from the Humber to the Tees, of horses, wool and terriers, of pudding and a cheese. It was a poem we were writing for the WI. I was in the WI then. And um, my poem won it, you see. So when... This little competition was mooted. I thought, well, what, what, what about putting that in? Never dreaming that it would win it. <laughs> and peace comes drifting gently. There's no place I'd rather be than this land of hills and valleys, twixt the Pennines and the sea. What is it about Yorkshire for you that, that inspired those wonderful words? Well, I love it. I mean... I, I love it, you know, the moors and the, and, and the hills and the heather and everything. I, I think it's beautiful. You know, I can remember when she came into the studio and uh, Krista said, that is one remarkable lady, and it certainly was. But you then had the, the problem of having to put it all to music. Was it easy or difficult, Benjamin? I think it was difficult because the words were so beautiful that, you know, I just didn't want to get it wrong. I think that was the basic, the, the basic difficulty there. Now, we've had three movements so far. They've all been different. Just take us through what your ideas were in the different movements. Well, I think, yeah, each movement was, was set out to sort of explore a different aspect of Yorkshire, a different aspect of the, the musicians who I've met, really. You know, you, you say, I'm going to write for any musician that comes along, and then you, you really have to find a way of doing it. So, you know, I, I think last night people would have seen the third movement, which was the, the very diverse one. You know, the one, you know, we had the rappers, we had the, the rock band, the, the folk band. Um, I suppose the, the third movement was where uh, sort of the, the, the dump really for all the really peculiar instruments. In another way as well in the second movement. Well, I'm so sorry about the sound because it's really important that we uh, sort of know the background of it. Um, but I, I really do think then that hopefully we'll go back and we'll get the reaction from Doreen to uh, her poem and the way it's been put to music. But for the moment, well, without further ado, here it is. It's the fourth movement. It's my favourite and I know it's Harry's as well. And it's the final part of our symphony for Yorkshire. Sing the song of Yorkshire from the Humber to the Tees of horses, wool and terriers, of pudding and a cheese. I know no other county where the land is quite so fine. It's England's lovely county, and I'm proud to call it mine. When the 
shining purple heather stretches far across the land. And the lapwings cry above you, takes the place of traffic's roar. Then peace comes drifting gently, there's no place I'd rather be than this land. The sun and the wind and the heather and the gleaming Yorkshire sky. Yes, I told you we'd save the best to last. That was the fourth movement of the symphony for Yorkshire. And I, I honestly can tell you that I, we're not sick of hearing it. We play it around the office. And Harry, you've been humming it. I hope we can hear you, because you've been driving everybody nuts, because you've been singing it all week. <laughs> I have indeed, Chris. It's fantastic, isn't it? And uh, it's very moving, I think, as well. But uh, we'll give you a bit of the reaction later on. Yes, 200-plus musicians were involved, over 40-odd locations. But there's also been other performers as well. You can see our, our circus acts, and we'll be introducing you to one a little later as well. But let me just uh, ask, if I may, to uh, talk to Derek uh, Renshaw, who's involved, of course, as the musical director with the Stannington uh, Brass Band. How much have they enjoyed it? Well, it's been a great experience. I mean, the band are always very keen to move into uh, other areas of performance. And when we were asked to take part in the symphony, then it was uh, a real delight. 
And has it been exciting? Has it been irritating? You know what filming things are like. Have you managed to cope with that quite well? Well, it's, it's been quite different. When Ben first came uh, to listen to the band and he decided he'd like us to play, uh, to be presented with a score but only part of a symphony, then it was very difficult to get a picture of what was actually required. And, and can we ask, expect you and many bands, we hope, to be using this score as part of their repertoire in the future? Well, yes, we will, actually. I've already discussed with Ben about using the main theme tune as a solo for the brass band repertoire, so we're really looking forward to that. Incidentally, one of the questions I've been asked, I've been asked so, so many times, is what about a DVD? Well, I have to say there are no plans for a DVD at the moment, but if I say to you, just watch this space, maybe we can update that for you a little later on. And we do hope to have a special half-hour programme about the whole thing in September. So uh, it's had such an impact. Uh, I think we'll be uh, continuing this uh, big time. Now, this is uh, Charlie Ledger. Charlie, as you can see, was involved in the Symphony for Yorkshire. I'm going to try and have a word with you, if I may, Charlie. How much have you enjoyed it? Oh, it's been brilliant fun. Yeah. I mean, to be involved in this, in this rather special way, was it, was it difficult for you? Um, no, I, I think it's great that um, bringing other art forms together with music is fantastic. And what was the best part for you when you've seen, have you seen it back yet? Have you seen your role in the, uh, in the yeah, film? Yeah. Um, Were you embarrassed? Were you happy? What? No, oh, it was really nice. So. <laughs> now, we've had some tremendous emails, by the way, as well. Let me just share those with you. Elaine Beach says, congratulations. What a great tribute to a great county. Kath Breeze, it's brilliant. It makes you go cold and prickly. And I love this one from Bernice Adamson, who now lives in Stoke-on-Trent. I would now like to live in Yorkshire, she says. Well, come on back, you'll be very, very welcome. But I suppose the, the big question must be, what does Doreen think about this? Well, we sent Benjamin to try and find out what she thought of how her words and the music were linked together. You have done something that will be remembered and I hope I've done you proud. Oh, I'm sure you have. Should we, should we have a little listen? Yes, let's do that. Beneath the sun and the wind and the heather and the gleaming Yorkshire sky. Oh, they must put that on the prompts. <laughs> How can we get them to? <laughs> Well, you never know, it might make the uh, proms at one day, but if you want to hear it again, all four movements, then you can do so by going online now. It will be there for some time to come and you can enjoy it in all its glory. It's been a, an absolute treat to, to be here. And we'll be back later on, by the way, just to wrap up this uh, wonderful tribute to a symphony for Yorkshire. But let's see what the weather's going to be like. And that comes from Lisa. Lisa, thank you very much indeed. That's the beautiful St Nicholas uh, Church here in High Bradfield. We thought we'd leave you with this uh, fabulous uh, brass band, the Stannington Brass Band. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. One, two. <laughs>